We have some early equity weakness today, but it's almost not fair to talk about simply because of what's going on as I speak to you right now. That equity weakness could go away pretty quickly. Right now, I've got the Dow down about a third of a percent, the S&P down about a quarter of a percent. The NASDAQ is down about eight basis points, so just short of one-tenth of one percent. And the Russell's down 12 basis points, so just a little bit more than one-tenth of one percent. Also, not only could it go away quickly, it could get worse quickly. But right now, we've got the five-year down one basis point, 10-year down three, 30-year down two, so you can call yields kind of unchanged. Now, some of the weakness earlier this morning came on U.S. considerations of tighter AI chip restrictions in terms of exports to China. The Wall Street Journal reported that the U.S. Commerce Department could move as soon as early July to halt chip exports by NVIDIA and other chip makers to customers in China and other countries of concern without first obtaining a license. That last part is a quote from the Wall Street Journal story. Now we've got gold and silver both lower, as is copper and the US dollar and crude oil as well. It's just below the flat line with a 67 handle right now. Now, right now, we have a central bank panel going on in central Portugal with some pretty heavy hitters. Andrew Bailey, governor of the Bank of England, Fed Chair Jerome Powell, Kazuo Ueda, governor of the Bank of Japan, and ECB President Christine Lagarde. They're already making statements, which is why a lot of the numbers that I listed already could have completely changed in either direction, depending on what, they're, what they've said and what they're saying. Today, after the close, we get the stress test results. That could be interesting for tomorrow morning's open. Looking ahead past that, earnings, Micron Technologies, and the results of those stress tests that I already mentioned. Tomorrow before the open, Paychex and McCormick Incorporated reporting. We also get words from Bank of England's Sylvia Tendoleo and Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic. Then in terms of the data tonight, Japanese consumer confidence. Tomorrow morning, consumer confidence in the EU, inflation figures in Germany, and a revision to US first quarter GDP. It is the final revision, so it'll be worth paying attention to.